welcome back and welcome to another book talk. I knew as soon as I finished this book I was like burning to talk to people about it. I finished it at the end of the day yesterday and um, I just had to, had to, had to tell you all about it because it's amazing and everyone needs to read it and buy it and love it just as much as I did. And that book is then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. If you've been following my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, that will be no surprise to you. And um, if you've been following me at all on the blog or on here, you will know that I am a massive Lisa Jewell fan and always have been. I've been so lucky lately that so many of my favourite authors have had new books out and I've had time to read them and time to shout about them. So let me read you the blurb so that I don't accidentally give anything away. It's one of those books where there are lots of twists and turns and plot changes and I don't want to accidentally give anything away. Here's the blurb. So it says, a missing girl, a buried secret. Then, she was 15, her mother's golden girl, she had her whole life ahead of her and then in the blink of an eye, Ellie was gone. Now, it's been 10 years since Ellie disappeared, but Laurel has never given up hope of finding her daughter. And then one day, a charming and charismatic stranger called Floyd walks into a cafe and sweeps Laurel off her feet. Sounds intriguing already, doesn't it? Before too long, she's staying the night at his house and being introduced to his nine-year-old daughter. <clears throat> Poppy is precious and pretty, and meeting her completely takes Laurel's breath away. But Poppy is the spitting image of Ellie when she was that age. And now all those unanswered questions that have haunted Laurel come flooding back. What happened to Ellie? Where did she go? And who still has secrets to hide? Oh my goodness. I don't think I'd even read the blurb before I <laughs> read the book. I didn't know what it was about. I went into it completely blind. Um, so yes, we know that Ellie has gone missing and that's where she get we get then she was gone the title um and we know that um the story kind of surrounds laurel and her kind of search to answer these questions that we had at the end of the blurb so they're kind of our main characters but it all surrounds this um one particular family so we've got laurel and her husband and their um two daughters and their son so we've got this typical family and that's one of the things i really loved about the book was that it follows this family you know your typical they could be your next door neighbors they could be your friends parents they could be your friends from school um and they kind of they deal with everything in a very real way they are a real family you know that they you know could have completely existed um laurel is a typical mum, and we each of the members of the family gets their own little spin-off storyline as well so we know what happens with paul the dad we know what happens with jake the son we know what happens with hannah the other daughter we kind of hear their little storylines as well which i just think was so great the fact that even though the focus is on laurel and her missing daughter we find out what happened with the other children and the other members of the family as well they each have their own little plots in the book um and then of course we have floyd and his daughter poppy uh and he also has another daughter and he has you know he has a past and a family as well and we find out what happens with all of them um and i just found it really easy to kind of identify with laurel and her story because she was so normal and down to earth and she doesn't act hysterically when things happen she just acts like a mum would um and it's interesting um hearing kind of ellie's side of the story as well and again she could be your friend from school so the characters were all amazingly well developed and that's one of the things that was really good about the book as well not just the family aspect of it but the fact that characters all had their own thing going on um in terms of the structure i just loved the structure of this book so it's written in five parts and then there's um an epilogue as well and um the five parts are then broken down into multiple narratives so laurel has her own narrative um 
Floyd has a little bit of narrative, Ellie has her own narrative, and then there's a fourth character um, who also does a bit of narrating who I won't talk about because it might give something away, but this other character does some narrating as well. And each of their kind of, each of them have bits within a section, and then each of them have like a then bit and a now bit, not every single time but there's like there's then there's now there's the four different narrators and there's the five different sections and it sounds complicated but it just completely works and it means that each of the sections are quite short as well so you go oh i'll just read a bit more oh that happened to that person and now it's this person's turn to narrate what are they going to make of it oh that person said that then how's it going to affect what happens now you just want to keep reading i read this in kind of two big chunks really um i read a, the beginning one day and then read most of it yesterday um and then had to read the end bit i had to stop at 90 percent to go and pick my husband up from work and Oh, I was so annoyed at the fact that I had to go and pick him up because it was like, I'm at 90%, I need to finish this book. And I was, by that point, the story had just become so tense. I was literally shaking with the adrenaline of it all. I was like desperate to read on. And by the time he came out to the car after work, I was just sat there with like tears streaming down my face. So this book physically affected me. The storyline is just so realistic but so well developed and well thought out every single thing that happens has some sort of little meaning and has some sort of effect for another character and there are just like twists here and twists there and you think you're going down one path and then you go down another path and again I'm not going to talk too much about the storyline because it, I don't want to give anything away but I just really really loved it this book had tension it made me hold my breath it made me shake with adrenaline and yet there's this family aspect of it and so there was parts that were emotional and i was crying um there's a like a little bit of romance in there as well there's a bit of mystery trying to figure out what happened and it's just got everything that you would need and as i said it's so realistic all of this could have happened could have happened to you could have happened to someone you know these characters are real the events are real the story's real their reactions are real it's just such a good read so i mean if that hasn't sold you i don't know what could because you need to read this book it's amazing go out and order it out on the 27th of july in the uk but you'll be able to order it wherever you are from the book depository i will leave the buy links below i will leave a link to my review below as well go out and read it honestly so good then she was gone lisa jewel amazing thank you so much for watching um i will have another video for you very soon so if you don't want to miss that please do click the subscribe button hit like if you enjoyed this video and please 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 if you have read this book please message me in comments because i need to talk to people about it i'm still struggling to find people who've read it to the end and i need to talk about it with somebody spoiler free <sighs> anyway i will see you in my next video bye